In this video, I will introduce you to the most useful function in Stata, which is help. What help allows you to do is to learn the Stata by yourself. Because Stata is basically a, self, a DIY business. So if you can't find answers by yourself, you are not in a good shape. To use help, you can do either one of the two things. First is to choose from the help contents. And you can search by two ways. First is to type in the stuff you want to look for in this long box, which is directly to search for the function name, say save. So it will directly go to that function. If I type in something that is remotely possible to be in theta, say my name, it will tell you that it can't find it. Or you can type in stuff here if you don't know the function name, which happens a lot. Stata will try to find uh, a vaguer match. And you can see that if you don't give Stata enough information, it did not do a good job. So the save function comes remotely to the top. The second way to do it is to use the help from the command line directory. We will learn two uh, parts of the help file today, which will enable you to do a lot of stuff on your own in Stata. The first part is the syntax. Syntax is a grammar of Stata programming. So you can see it has two different function name, save and save old, and for time being, we just ignore the save old. So this is a function name. You can think of this as a verb in the grammar, in the English grammar. And this is the uh, arguments of the function, which you can think of is the uh, noun in the English grammar. And uh, this will have additional options, but today we, we won't go to the integrity of the options. So here we have a uh, quite simple explanation of what all those options is and if you can't understand it it's okay then comes a longer version of the description of the function and a longer version of the op arguments okay the second thing we will learn today is how to play with the stata example so stata for every almost every function gives you an example that you can play with to get a uh, first hand experience on how to use those functions. It's very learning by doing uh, type of stuff and it's really helpful. So let's the black bold font is the command line. You can actually type into the Stata command line window and run it. Okay, so let's copy it. Run. So basically, you will have a uh, collection of data then you can save so save let's review again save is a function name is a verb file name is a noun and that basically defines uh, action in Stata I want to remind you guys that in Stata when you save file like this without any specified directory it will be Save to the default 
directory, which you can see by typing cd, cd in the command line window. That's where you will find the data. So let's save it. Okay, actually, this is a good, good example. So when you try to save the data twice, which because I already do a practical version before, said I won't allow to, won't data won't allow you to do that. Instead, it will report an error that it already exists. So what you need to do is to save my even odd comma which gives an option called replace. So the option replace, which we will see a lot of times later, is basically te tells data that if there's a file in the way, just ro overwrite that file. Or alternatively, you don't want to set save the file in that in that folder. You can find the folder you want to you want to uh, save for. Say, or you can just go to find those find the folder which is here. Save. Double quotation. Dot DTA. Full cautious, let's stay in place. Okay, so if there is a warning but not an error when doing when performing the task, Stata will also print out a note tell you that there is something minor wrong with your with, with, with your syntax, but it's okay. You can also access to other function if when you run through all the help file and you find it is not the function that you are looking for which is also a great uh, feature of the stata help file system